All right, what's going on? It's Charlie, if you heard it here first, and my beer for tonight. Back at it again with another beer unboxing. Got two tonight. It's kind of, I guess you can say this is Vong Shui. It's got the green screen in the back. I don't know if I'm going to be able to add an effect on it or not because the lights aren't set up properly. But we're going to get started with this. And as always, when I do an unboxing, I try my best to have something to drink. Is my hat crooked? This is that Marvin Gaye slash... Motown slash Detroit look going on slash I'm about to get ready and go clock in at the plant work a 12 to 14 hours and go home to the family look but um I got two boxes I got one box from slow I think you guys have watched me unbox an awesome awesome package from the brother-in-law my man Scott Gelting Los Oso, Central California, San Luis Obispo. So I got, got one from Cali, and then I got one from a new extended family member in Louisiana, Mandeville, Louisiana. So I got two boxes. I don't, I don't know which one I'm open. I mean, I, I mean, I sh should go for Scott because you know what I'm saying this is second one, so you have to give priority. But then I got this box, exclusive box from Louisiana. I think the only thing I've had from Louisiana is the Purple Haze by Abita. I love that beer. Beautiful, a beautiful beer. It's like a wheat ale if I'm not mistaken. Um, but before we get into the unboxing, I have something. If you just go out and you're looking for beer or you've had something from a brewery and they drop something with just like the can art. Just it, it, you draw attention to the can art. And it was, I don't know what it is about this can art, but I was in John's Market, Southwest Portland. I was there to pick up Private Eyes, which is a hazy IPA by um, Claim 52. And uh, I saw this. Private eyes. Let me show you the can. This can work on private eyes is awesome. Let me get that real fast. So this can work. All right. Yeah. This can work is dope. Look at this joint. Dope. I cannot wait to bring this to an episode of What Are You Drinking? But so, anyways, this is um happy twenty first birthday to Darby's Cafe. Um, they have a story behind that. But this is called Brass Froggy. It's a Citra Dry Hot Malt Liquor. Coming in at eight point two percent, about forty IBU. So the instructions say you drink down to this dashed line. This dashed line right there. And uh, fill a top of orange juice, add a squeeze of lime, mix it gently, and enjoy repeating it. So, I don't have a lime. I do have the orange juice. Now, I was assuming at first this was about four ounces. Maybe it's, it's about four ounces. I, I'm, I think I'm right. So, it's about four ounces. What I'm going to do, I'm going to imagine you're going to drink down to this line, and I'm going to pour the beer over in the glass, and we're going to get started with this beer unboxing. So, malt liquor. You know, imagine that, guess. Let's see what we got going on, first of all. It's really tastes like malt liquor. Orange juice. It's not the glass that I want to use. I want to use this glass right here. So, you transfer the orange juice here. Boom. You got that done. Alright, and then here we are. I don't know what an effect this is gonna bring, but whatever, you know what I'm saying? Follow the instructions of the individuals who brewed the beer. So, cheers, brass froggy. That actually tastes good. And we're gonna get into the box from Louisiana, alright? Knife, where you at? Here we are. Alright, let's do this. Laws must be different in Louisiana because I thought like you couldn't use duct tape, but it was shit via UPS. I'm gonna try to take care of this box because this looks like something I can use over again. Um, so let's get this open. Got some red tape. Let's not bring this anything right there. Uh, here we go, right here. Let's get that. Boom. Boom. Let's see what we got. Alright. Don't want to ruin the box because boxes, I mean, you come in handy. Especially if you need because the house I live in, the person I live with, doesn't really like boxes around. So we got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve ounce cans. Seems to let even occur. While still confusing our humans. Twelve ounce cans. This is a nice box so mad you know i'm not a big 12 ounce can buyer maybe if i get a six pack i'm into four packs so i'll probably send you a ton of four packs all right or 16 ounce cans so we got 10 10 let's see what we got we have juicifier ipa 
Gnarly Barley. Hammond, Louisiana. Some dope can art there. I like that. I like the colors there. You know what I'm saying? The juice of fire. I like the pacifier. We have... Okay, so, all right. So, I was, I was, when we were in Chicago a few weeks ago, we had a conversation with each other. And I had told him that there's a brewery down there. They have, like, owls on their, their can art. There's just a bunch of owls. I'm, I wonder if this is the brewery that I was telling him about. Notice it, um, someone posted on Instagram or something like that. And I went to... The brewer's page or the brewery's page and i don't know if i followed them or not but the can art was dope because i'm a big fan of owls i think a lot of folks know that and um i thought the can art was dope i'm not 100 percent sure if this is from but this is a crystal wisen style ale crystal wisen crystal wisen family tree i like that family tree oh yeah and then we have the Cor Corova Milk Porter. You know what's crazy? Now today is November 2nd, 2017. I'm in a WhatsApp group text message with my homeboys and I think this beer came up in a discussion today. Um, the conversation you guys don't need to know about. But this beer, this can art, discussion, and what's that? I gotta go back, but I'm almost sure this is a milk porter. I think I wanna say this has to be it because some brewery is brewing a beer called Puerto Rico. And that came up in discussion as well. What's that? We have another, um, right, the right place, the right people, the right beer. I like that slogan. Urban South Brewery, Charming Wit, a light-hearted white ale. All right. Let's see what we got there. Mm-hmm. We have Rebirth, a pale ale from NOLA Brewing Co., is that, is that is some Gibson? I'm guessing that's like, you know, is that like a jazz? It's got to be jazzy like on the can art. Yeah, we got some jazz on the back. Trumpet players. A word that inspires the return of the Crescent City after devastation. The Grammy Award winning brass band that represent New Orleans. And the name of our Citra and Simcoe hopped pale ale. A portion of the profits from this beer goes to the roots of music, empowering New Orleans youth while preserving our musical history. I like that. And if you guys know me, I'm big into jazz, college student, community college student. I took a couple jazz classes, jazz theory, understanding the history of jazz and all that good stuff. It was an excellent class. And it got me into, I guess you can say, the jazz scene in San Diego, which there is a jazz scene in San Diego. And they have an awesome musician, gentleman by the name of Gilbert Cassianos. Freaking awesome. He's an awesome guy. He used to play every Wednesday night at um, El Camino, an awesome club, a nice spot in Little Italy. So if you're ever in San Diego, Stroll down in Little Italy, stroll down El Camino, you're going to have a nice time. Another juice of fire. So that must be the hit because it's two of those. And then we have uh, another gnarly, gnarly barley brewing company. This is the Catahoul Common. This is a lager. Lagers are good. They're pretty good on, on those days where you don't need anything that's too heavy. You want some nice, light, and crisp. You don't want no soda. You don't want a spritz of water. You want a beer. And lagers have always been great. I'm sure I butchered that name, but... Um, kind of holla. Holla, holla. Probably drink this one first after we learn the name. And what else we have? We have another one of these joints here again. I, I, I have to go to the WhatsApp group. I'm almost positive. Almost positive. Uh, what do we have here? Reasonably Corrupt, a black lager. Shreveport, Louisiana. Okay, black lager. Now, so this is about to be the second black lager that was sent to me via beer mail. Scott sent me a nice black lager. That was from um, Central Coast Brewing. That was the first beer mail package that I got from my homeboy Scott, brother-in-law Scott. And this is here, the... Uh, what is this? It's American Pale Ale. Comatotion American Pale Ale. All right. Shreveport, Louisiana as well. So, Louisiana, we're gonna see what craft beer is all about. I got two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten cans, two of the same, which, like I said, it came up in conversation, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to having that quarter. It is a fall time. Quarters are great during fall time. Any drunk beer is great during fall time. And, uh, I mean, I got, I got 10 days worth of beer. So, with that being said, Charlie, if you heard here first of my beer for the night, I'm sorry that I kept you guys so long. 